Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome back. You ever seen my channel before? Please subscribe. Today we're at Mount Arab. It's up by Tupper Lake. It's two miles long out and back. It's rated as moderate. And yup, it's a fire tower. So you guys know what that means. I get to chip away at that fire tower challenge. This is my 14th fire tower of the fire tower challenge. And this is also part of the Fabulous 40 challenge. This will be my 22nd hike out of the Fabulous 40 challenge. So just with this one hike, I started chipping away at both these challenges and I'm loving these challenges. All right, so hopefully tonight, I'm hoping to get a sunset up top. So fingers crossed. I just bought a wind burner from MSR, so I'm gonna try that up there. So I'll show you guys a little bit about it. Uh, as you guys can see, I have Buddy here. Like I said, I'm Panther Mountain. Uh, everywhere I go through the Adirondacks and places, I'm gonna spread his ashes. But I'm gonna stop wasting your time and let's get it, baby. All right, let's go, baby. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, we're about halfway up. It's just an absolute beautiful day out. Uh, it's about 34, 35 degrees out, nothing too bad. Um, in the beginning of the trail, it was, got, it was kind of muddy, but probably about a quarter way up, it um, turned to snow, ice, maybe a little bit of mud, but nothing too bad. Uh, you did have those stairs, those are pretty cool. Um, I wonder if it gets really muddy there, that's why they put it there. Uh, you had a couple streams on the way up, but I can't wait to get to the top and see uh, the view. It's a beautiful day, it should be a beautiful view. And get something to eat, and then uh, we can see if we get that sunset. All right, let's do it, baby.
So as you guys can see, made the top, and it's actually beautiful up here. This is Mount Arab. It is rated as moderate. I would actually say it's easy. Uh, unless you have a really bad disability, I would say it's moderate. But other than that, it's pretty easy. You shouldn't have a problem at all. This is part of the Fabulous 40 challenge. This is makes 22 hikes done for me on the Fabulous 40, so that's pretty cool. And as you can see, as we're standing in a fire tower, this is part of the fire tower challenge. This would make 14 fire towers done for me, so that's awesome. I feel so good getting back into these challenges. Um, but that being said, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you later. Audi guys. All right, so for tonight, for dinner, on top of the mountain, uh, we're gonna do Mountain House, and it's gonna be lasagna with meat sauce. I guess this is one of the popular ones, so hey, let's give it a try. All right, so this is the MSR wind burner. Um, I wanted to get one of these. I always, always wanted to get one of these. I was looking at the jet boils too, but I was reading the reviews, and everybody's saying that the MSRs are a little bit better especially in the wind. So that's why I wanted to get that since I'm going to high peaks. If I want to get something to eat or boil some water up top, uh, it is gets pretty windy up there. So um, they, they're saying that this one's the best for wind. So what we got here is the MSR fuel canister. Um, this is the bigger one. They do make a smaller one that actually fits right inside here. And I will be taking that on the high peaks because it'd be more compact and I can have more room in my bag. You don't gotta lug this big thing around. Uh, but this isn't a bad hike at all and it does give it more stability when it's sitting on top. So that's why I bring this one. All right, so the first thing I do when I'm um, preparing this is I take this cup off because you want this cup off. Because if you leave it on and you put it on the burner, you will absolutely melt this. So this is the first thing I take off first so I never, I don't forget it. Then you open the top, put the lid to the side, and the first thing you get is a little stand. And on this stand, you have like two clips. Uh, the first one is for the smaller fuel canister, and the second one is for the bigger fuel canisters. The best way I found out how to clip these is you clip two sides first, and then you work the other one in just like that. Now you have stability. All right, so the next step is to take out the actual burner. There's gonna be a little handle here that you wanna pop that out. And there's actually a plus or minus sign on the handle, it's written real small. And that's to turn it um, higher or lower, depending on the temp you want. You're gonna take this and screw it right on top of the fuel canister until it doesn't go no more. Just like that. All right, so for our next step, we wanna light the stove. I have this little MSR um, igniter. Uh, it's supposed to be wind protected, uh, but some people say this doesn't really work that well. So I bring a small lighter too, just in case it doesn't. As you guys see, it doesn't work that well, so we're going to use the lighter. So there is a piece of metal on top that glows that tells you that it is lit. So the next step is, um, do not put this on this without any water. You will burn all this off. You need to put water in your cup before you put it on the stove. So this meal calls, uh, this meal calls for ounces of water. And inside the cup, there is liters in ounces on the side so you can measure it.
Now we're gonna take our top. We're gonna put it right on there snug. Just like that. And we're gonna put it right on top. We're gonna grasp this holder and we're gonna turn it and lock it in. Then we wait till it boils. All right, so we opened our pack and uh, there is like a little fresh keeper thing in there. So make sure you take that out. Uh, it's calm. So we're gonna take our boiled water that we just boiled and we're just gonna pour it right in there. As you can see, it's still pretty warm. It actually smells pretty good. Looks like lasagna. Gonna set it back on top because it's probably still pretty hot. And you're gonna zipper this right back up. Just like if I can get it. Just like that, and you're gonna let that sit for five minutes, and then you're gonna reopen it, and you're gonna stir it, and then you're gonna zipper it back up for four minutes, and then you should be all set. All right, guys, it's been about five minutes. I just want to show you guys this. I got this on Amazon. I think it's called um, On Blue or something like that. I don't know. I'll put it in the description below. Um, but look, it's like a Swiss Army knife. You got your spoon. You got your fork. And you got like a can opener and like a little knife. I just thought that was pretty cool. So we're going to take our spoon. We're going to open this up. And we're going to stir it. for, And then we're going to reseal it for four minutes. All right, guys, it's been about four minutes. Let's check what we got here. Oh yeah, that looks good. But I'm gonna hurry up, climb the tower, so I can catch that sunset. All right, let's do it. It's actually really good. I highly re uh, recommend the lasagna with the meat sauce, definitely. So I just got done eating with this amazing view, as you guys can see. Um, that lasagna with the meat sauce is actually pretty good, so I do recommend that one. I just want to say to you guys, thank you for the support. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. But that being said, I'm going to finish watching this sunset, and I'll catch you guys later. Audi.
All right, so I almost forgot about Buddy. I got caught up in that uh, sunset. <laughs> but um, we're still on the mountain, we're probably about halfway down. So we're still on the mountain, so I'm gonna spread them right here. All right, we're gonna spread them in the honor of Buddy.